How we doing, everybody? Pretty good. Whirlwind. Coach, a couple thoughts on opening the season, and then we'll get some questions from the room. Yeah, I mean, uh, after three plus weeks of uh, preparation, it's uh, nice to be in game week. You know, uh, and this and this week, you know, at least historically has uh, gone extremely fast. So, uh, guys have been working hard. I mean, I, 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 there were times I was looking for trouble, you know, just to get after them a little bit. But uh, they, uh, they took care of business, worked really hard, and uh, I think we're, you know, we are really on course uh, to be playing our best football this coming weekend for sure. Yes, sir. And so now in year three here, I guess, how do you feel like the team's readiness for this upcoming week compares with your first two years here? Um, I, I think the mental preparation, um, you know, we've got some players now that have been here as long as we have. Uh, and that's hard to do in this day and age. I'll, I'll just be honest with you. Um, but we've been able to hold on to some of our key players. And, uh, you know, those guys, you know, are playing at a certain level. And uh, we're, we're excited about the way they're going about doing their business. But, um, you know, I, I just think familiarity breeds success. And uh, our guys, you know, they've been around our coaches and myself you know, as you said, the third year, but I, I'm, I'm far away from three years being here. Um, so uh, it's good, though. And, uh, you know, I'm anxious for our guys to play in their, in their first game, and it's nice that we uh, actually get to do it at home. I was going to ask you about that. What does it mean? That's a lot. To not only have a home game, to open the season, but it's a it's an FBS opponent. Yep. In, in your in your home opener, in your yeah. first game. Well, you, you hit it on the head. I mean, it's an FBS opponent. Uh, an SEC ca uh, a team will come in here later on in the year, and uh, you know we've got uh, you know the MAC Eastern Michigan will be here to start us off. Then you know we'll have Missouri here down the road. So you know it's. It's nice when you have teams like that coming to this building. And uh, good for our players. And like I tell people all the time, you know, when you have to get ready to play Missouri, uh, Mississippi State, and Georgia, you don't have to work real hard emotionally to get the guys ready to play. They get themselves ready to play. And uh, you've got to focus on, you know, giving them the be best – game plan that you can possibly give them. In preparation for this week, did it feel much different than preparation for New Mexico State last year? Uh, not, not really. You know, the, again, um, with, you know, with uh, familiarity, you know, like we talked about, but there's also, a, we've got a degree of new guys that have been with us since February, since May, since July, uh, you guys get my drift, what I'm telling you here. Um, still, the, uh, the portal business continues to roll, and, uh, you know, we've taken care of our business and, and have gone about uh, connecting with players that we feel would be, uh, you know, good for us. How, how ready is Tyson? Talk to us a little bit. Right. About he's ready. And how he's gone this week. Non-issue. Great summer. Uh, has not um, missed a practice. Uh, has gone about his business. Uh, you can tell he's confident, uh, putting both feet on the ground and, and going where he's got to go and doing, doing it as fast as he wants to do it. So, uh, you know, all good. 
specifically with Eastern Michigan. Um, talked with a couple of the veterans on the team during camp about this, uh, that you know, three straight losses to them, um, that they had had this game circled on their calendar. Uh, did, did, is it circled on your calendar as well? The next game is the game circled on my calendar. So, you know, I mean, that's being honest as a heart attack. You know, we you take care of the game right in front of you. Give it, you know, you get prepare, you give it your best shot. You're making sure you're totally organized, totally, totally committed to giving the guys a good game plan, then go play your heart out. So then you move on to the next game. You know, it just, that's just the way it is. The last two years between Ellis and K-Rod, you had really dependable backs who you've gone to a lot. Looking at the 2 deep that we have right now, uh, can you talk us through kind of the strengths and, and how you're planning on utilizing your backs? Yeah, I mean, I think you, you've, you've kind of hit it on the head, you know. We're going to play, a, th those guys are each going to play like in, in different roles, you know, you know what I mean? Uh, Jalen John. Okay, guy that I that I was familiar with at Arizona, um, uh, bigger back, two hundred and I'd say eighteen, nineteen pounds, somewhere in there. Uh, you know, has the ability, you know, to hit hit a fifth gear. Um, but you know, I I looked I looked to him. You you better you better hit him in the chin because he's gonna. He's going to bring it, you know, and he's going to bring it and bring it and bring it. You know, that's the beauty for him. So I'm kind of excited about him. Brandon Campbell, uh, <laughs> God love him. I mean, he just got here. And uh, but he's been working and, uh, you know, came in and, and, and was in really good shape. Was finishing up some academic responsibilities, has done that. Uh, has been practicing with us and uh, playing at a, a solid, solid level. Uh, CJ was with us um, early, earlier in the summer, and, uh, you know, we anticipate him being able to help us as well. So I'm looking at those three guys. I, I'm, you know, other guy, you know, other guys can help. Cookie can help us. We know Cookie's a durable guy. <coughs> you know, and uh, he'll be a guy that can, um, you know, make yards for us. Not the fastest guy in the world, um, but can pick him up, put him down, and and you know, you better lower your pads when you go to tackle him because uh, you know he's gonna he's gonna work you. Coach, Eastern Michigan, they've lost their past four in a row road games. You guys last season were able to accomplish that with the victory. Put yourself in their shoes. What do you expect from them as they come into Amherst? I mean, we're going to get their best shot. It's their opener. Um, you know, obviously, uh, you know, we've played them, you know, for a few years in a row now. Um, you know, uh, you know, they've got some issues, too, you know, just like we do. You know, they, they've they dealt with the transfer portal at a high level. Um, so that's a difficult deal, you know, because you're, you're, you're in a competitive situation trying to hang on to your guys, not just coach them. So, you know, that's what I see. But, you know, they're, uh, they're going to have a number of new starters. Um, and uh, new uh, new wide receiver who uh, has got some ability. Uh, the quarterback position, you know, that's open too. Uh, you know, they you know they've got a couple guys here. Tim Salem, who's a coach, he is a coach's son. So and uh, the young man from Buffalo. So and we we kind of know about him a little bit. So that that gives us some, uh, you know, some uh, that we, you know, we kind of know what his strengths are. So, uh, yeah, you know, we, we just got to get ready to play. You know, uh, you don't want to overcomplicate it, you know. But what one thing that we've done a good job with is, uh, 
you know, we're, we're in a pretty good spot health-wise. We were, there was a, you know, when you go through camp, sometimes you have those couple days where you're kind of nervous because, you know, a couple guys get nicked here and there and how fast can you get them back and so forth. But it, they come back. And, uh, you know, we're, we're anticipating, a, you know, full-scale group as we uh, move through the week for practice. electronic communication between the quarterback and the sidelines this year since the FBS is allowed to do that? Okay. I'm not going to tell you. How about, I, want, I was really curious though about the time step. You know, no timeouts, uh, you know, on first downs. Been practicing it. And I was wondering how... Doesn't that seem that hard. I mean, it just hasn't been that hard. Now, the thing for us... This is staying here, right? Mm -hmm. Is, you know, we, we're multiple. I mean, we play a lot, a lot of packages. So, you know, we, in, in, in the packages that we have, the guy that's in essence the play caller or play receiver is in all packages but one. So when we go to that one, you know, you'll see, you'll see me go to a signal. Because that's the one, I, you know, I mean, we're not going to simplify. So the answer was, and then give him the call. And then very next play, 72 Eagle, you know, so. But on the time question, how does it change? You know, I, you I've you? gone on it and gone you know, give them the call. So say it's 72 Eagle and then gone, hey, tailbacks wide, be ready for the slide. And they've heard me. So the thing is, you, you've you got time to get it in. In fact, during the course of last week, I, I got comfortable doing it. So not hard. And the two minute warning? Yeah. Is, is it not a good thing? You know, is it turning too much into the NFL? Because I know I talked to I, I, I totally think it is. But, you know, I, I like the part that you can drop the hammer and give them the call. But, yeah. You know. Coach, we watched, we really enjoyed watching uh, Billy Wooden for years here. And you've got a guy that has been here now going on his fifth year in Aaron Beckwith. Yep. Can you talk a little bit about defensive line and, and what the role might be for a guy like Beckwith kind of entering that uh, year for him to compete? Yeah, he's playing, you know, in our defensive line uh, in the two interior positions. You know, he's an interior guy, you know, but I, I will tell you this, he runs well for a big guy. So we're, we're, we're kind of happy about that part of it. Um, E.T., who uh, came to us from Clemson by way of Georgia Tech, uh, similar in size and structure, uh, will play, you know, he'll play defensive end over the tight end. Um, you know, we, we, we've got a number of guys there I'm just kind of, I'll kind of take a peek here. Uh, Jalen uh, Beckwith, Tim Grant Randall. Uh, this is a big game for him. I mean, he's an Eastern Michigan, you know, player, former player. So this will be a big, Chambre Jackson, you know, obviously. Uh, Luce Julian, E.T., Wiggins. I mean, all, I mean, we feel like we're deeper than we've been. So, but with Beckwith, you're getting a 300 pound guy that runs sub five flat. That's what you're getting. Those guys are hard to find. When, when you think back to your first year as a head coach going into week one and think about where you are now feeling wise emotionally going into week one, has anything changed for you personally about whether it be the anticipation, the nerves, the excitement about sort of opening day. Oh yeah, I mean, if you, 
you don't you don't get excited about this. I mean, you don't you only get one opening day every year, you know. And I mean, I don't know. I think I'm in year 46. So I, I say that, and I just wow. But uh, yeah, so you know, it's an exciting time, and you know, the big the biggest thing that I, I can tell you is the responsibility. That's what I look at. Uh, I just want to make sure I have the guys prepared, have them uh, ready to go, say the right things bef uh, day bef day of the game, and uh, let's play our best game. Uh, Frank Ladson, been watching him on the sideline yep. all preseason game. Yep. Uh, what's he dealing with, and uh, do you have an ETA on when he might be playing? I don't. I really don't. You know, I mean, all I can tell you is he's fought injury, you know, Things are going in the right direction. Will he have a chance to play? I, I, I think he will, but I don't want to make any promises. A couple from Zoom now. Yep. Uh, hey, man. Um, all good. Thank you. Anyone else on Zoom? All good. Go, Dean, go for it. Hey, Coach, uh, this Saturday going to be the first game you'll get to coach with uh, Shane Montgomery, uh, the offensive coordinator. What's it been like working with him over these past few months? A uh, total professional, um, hardworking, um, has done a great job of uh, connecting with the players. And, uh, you know, we, we've got a great professional that has a great way about him and, and has been very good with the players. So, very excited about that hire. And, uh, you know, obviously the other thing there that goes kind of unnoticed is he, he's got a lot of uh, Mac, you know, type experience and we're playing five Mac games. Anything else for Coach on the Zoom? I have one more for you. Yeah, buddy. Go for it. Go for it. You mentioned year, you mentioned year 46 as a head coach. We heard you about 100 yards away when you left your office and started coming down the hall to here. <laughs> What's your secret? I don't know. You know, I really don't. Uh, I love coaching. Uh, I love being with young people. Um, you know, the, the, uh, the challenge, the football challenge, you know, all those things, uh, you know, just kind of keep your keep your juices flowing. You know, like my wife said, well, what are you going to do, retire and sit at home? So, you know, uh, long as I have the thirst for it and uh, I'm able to pro provide leadership and give it, you know, and and do a good job coaching the guys, probably keep doing what I'm doing. And uh you know, if I feel I'm hurting the players, time to go. And, uh, yeah, that's that's kind of my answer on that one. Thanks, Coach. Okay. Thanks, Coach.